Hello everybody, my name is Connor. And I'm Michael. And I'm Addison on camera. And we're here today to talk to you about frost jacking. Yep, and the way we're gonna show you how that works is we, we're gonna use a balloon, a straw, and we tie the straw to the balloon. We put some soil underneath the mason jar and then the, the balloon with the straw, and then we're gonna add soil on top. This marker right here is gonna represent the pile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow into the straw and it's gonna raise up the pile and it's gonna be an example of uh, the freeze thaw cycle. Okay, here we go. There you have it. All right, so how does this happen? Well, you've really got two types of soil that are responsible for this. You've got your nice coarse grain soil and then you've got your fine soil. Now, fines are very frost susceptible. When water enters the coarse soil, it pretty much always drains out. However, when entering the fine soil, it's much harder to do that. In fact, sometimes the water will actually travel up against gravity. This happens because of capillary action. Now, capillary action occurs when water has a very narrow path to go, and that, uh, the surface tension of the water will draw it up through that path. Now, in fine soil, these paths already exist, but as the water freezes, it expands and constricts these paths even more, drawing more water up. Now, as that water travels up, it connects with this ice ball and freezes to it, expanding the ice ball even further, compounding the problem. This leads to ice lenses. Now, ice lenses in the soil exert pressure on the surroundings. And if you have your pile with your flagpole or whatever, and you got your house, and these ice lenses are freezing and thawing over the years, they will eventually shift your pile, jack it straight out of the ground, and break your house. This is bad. How do we prevent frost jacking? Well, you can increase drainage. By replacing your frost susceptible soils with non-frost susceptible soil, you will prevent frost jacking. You can cool or warm the soil. Frost jacking only hurts things through, due to the freeze-thaw cycle over time. If you live in an area with permafrost, you can cool the soil by injecting cold water or by providing ventilation under your heated house to prevent that soil from ever thawing. Or, if you're really rich, you can heat the soil 24-7 and prevent it from ever freezing. You can do a deeper foundation. Underneath most frost susceptible soils is bedrock or non-frost susceptible soil. So the deeper you go, the more secure and strong your foundation is going to be. Or, you can move south. These areas here, no frost, nothing. So, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, uh, come see us again on our channel, and have a good day.